place you go to to get something to eat. Uh, next question. Do you think of a particular accomplishment that you've done in the course of your career that took a considerable amount of time and which, despite the length of time, you're particularly happy about? I have to circle back to just being recognized yeah. as as the photographer that I am mm -hmm. and as a product photographer that's serious. Um, in the market we have in the Edmonton, Alberta area, yeah. it's very difficult to differentiate yourself from the herd right there are people that'll come out and buy a camera it's it's the reality of 2016 you can go out and buy a digital camera yeah have the same camera as me sitting on your lap uh, but that doesn't translate into a good photographer right um, and so I mean you have people that'll pick up a camera and they'll decide to shoot a wedding right and they may take good photos they may not they might get lucky. They might take a thousand and have six good ones. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't want to be associated with that herd. Right. Uh, not to say that there's anything wrong with the weekend warriors or the people that are trying to to come from one career and, and kind of work their way into another yeah. or explore things that make them happy. Right. But I don't... I didn't want to be associated with that. I need, needed to be taken seriously mm -hmm. in the industry because this is my main career focus. Right. And for me to do that, I had to specialize mm -hmm. and stay very firm in that specialty. Right. And it, it took a high cost. Right. Uh, turning down jobs that were outside of that field in to the sum of about $40,000 right. over the course of five to 10 years. Yeah, and obviously there's opportunities missed too, and people would say opportunities missed, but you're, when you look at it through your perspective, it's more like you took another opportunity over one that was going to be less, you know, true to your needs and to your, you know, heart of hearts, right? Like I, I placed a bet and it paid off. Right. I, uh, I held. Yeah. I held out for the career and for the jobs, the specialty mm -hmm. that I knew could make a living for me whether it's what I enjoy the most or not yeah uh, I, I can't do what everyone wants to do right. and make a living by it right so I had to specialize and I see the similarities between what I do mm -hmm. and between the the shoots and the industries yeah. within photography right that I would be interested in I can see the parallels right that makes sense I mean obviously there's there's the the concept of like okay you can do something for a day, like, or, you know, what was the expression? Let a man, like, feed a man for a day, and then he's he's fed, or teach a man to fish, and then he can feed himself over time, right? right. You understood the, dis the difference between the two and decided you wanted to get paid as a photographer rather than feast for a short period of time, you know, do some glamour photography or what have you.